Hey there everybody, welcome back into our little kitchen here at Clean Valley Farms. Today I am uh, taking another go at making some cheese. I did alright the first time, but I think I can do significantly better. So I've got uh, two different sort of recipes that I'm trying just to check and see if it was the milk issue. And I've also changed the acid. I'm going with a whole lot of citric acid this time around. Well here we are with my second attempt to make any kind of uh, homemade cheese here. This time I've got two liters of buttermilk in here and one liter of homo milk, 3.25 or so percent I think. And I'm going to go with a full cup of lemon juice for my acid this time. I'm also going to be adding significantly more than just a pinch of fire salt. Probably go somewhere in the neighborhood of a whole teaspoon. But we'll see. Anyway, right now I'm just waiting for this to get up to temperature, 185. Looks like that's going to take a while. We'll check back on it in a bit. Well, this already looks a little bit more promising than last time. I haven't added the salt yet. I haven't added the lemon juice yet. It's not up to temperature, but it's already starting to separate. Yay! Maybe I'll get a much better cheese this time. Alright, so it's been a few more minutes. We're getting closer to our target temperature. So I've put in my teaspoon of salt, kosher salt, and my one cup of lemon juice. Let's see what happens this time. We're going to let it uh, sit at its 185 for about 10 minutes. It says 12.03 now, so 12.13. We'll be back. So this has been going for 13 minutes. My bad. I stepped outside. And uh, it looks like it's pretty thoroughly mixed. Just consulted with the last video I made here to uh, try and keep things sort of on track with what I've been doing. And I'm going to let this cool off a little bit before I drain it. So probably 10 minutes and we'll get back to it. Now that it's cooled off a little bit, I'm just taking it one cup at a time over to the sink where I have a towel and a strainer. And I'm slowly pouring this through. I can honestly say using the lemon juice was an interesting choice. It's added a, a delightful aroma to this event. And I am really curious to see if it's going to impart any sort of a lemon or citrusy flavor to the final cheese. Well I've just now got the last of it in there and I'm gonna go ahead and say it this already looks significantly better than the last cheese that I made. At least according to that video I was checking on how to make cheese on that there cooking channel that apparently I run. Yeah, that looks much better. So while the first bit of this sits to drip, I'm doing the rest of the milk that came home yesterday. This part of the batch is slightly different. The first bit was two liters of buttermilk and one liter of regular 3% or uh, homo milk. And this one is just two of the homo milk. Again, I've gone with a full cup of my acid. In this case, I'm doing lemon juice. And I've gone with a full teaspoon of salt but I've also gone ahead and put in about a teaspoon and a half of the 2016 powdered pain. Kitten going nuts with a bottle cap down there. Kittens and kids, the best toys ultimately are free. Milk lid. Happy cat. Anyway, we're making cheese. So here we have the second batch of cheese made from the two liters of whole milk, 3.5%, no buttermilk in this. And it did not make anywhere near as, my, as nice of a product, even immediately. This is still a much more fluid event. This is going to take a long time to drip through. I think in the future I will definitely be using buttermilk in all of my homemade cheeses. Maybe not uh, two to one, but we'll try uh, one buttermilk, two regular milk next time. See how that works out, but that two buttermilk, one regular milk sure made a nice looking cheese product. So while our second cheese is dripping away over there, we're going to improve this first one by adding some dark opal basil, some sweet basil, some dill, some sage, basically whatever herbs I have fresh. I'm going to dice these up, mix it on through there. Oh, that should look nice mixed through our cheese here. Dump it in, mix it around. Well, now that first cheese looks even better. Look at our second cheese, still drip, drip, dripping away here. Still not quite as satisfied with the look as this one. Apparently that fly was curious though. That's why I've got a towel over top of it. So here's our second batch of cheese. It's been sitting for about 90 minutes, give or take. 
That's not looking too bad. No kidding, you do not get a test sample. Not looking too bad at all. So it's been about three and a half hours since I first started this adventure, and here we have two essentially finished cheese products. This one here is made from the two liters of buttermilk, one liter of homo, and this one here is made from the two liters of homo milk. That's just regular old 3% milk. And I'd have to say they both turned out significantly better than that first batch. I'm going to say using significantly more of an acid like I did in this case. And using the uh, lemon-lime mixture just worked out really, really well. All that's left is to uh, taste these and then they're good to go for our crappy happy weekend. Fantastic. So first we'll start off with the first batch. This is the one that ended up with the herbs made with the buttermilk. Actually very excited about this. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Hmm. That's really good. It definitely imparts that lemon-lime zest. So that is a nice change from the uh, red wine vinegar. Didn't really taste much of the, uh, the, the red wine that came over in that cheese. So, yeah. The lemon-lime zest is very nice. I think possibly I should have put the herbs in sooner. Maybe use dried herbs and uh, boil them through while I was doing the milk. So... That's something I can experiment with next time, because there's definitely going to be a next time I'm getting better at this cheese thing. I guess now, now I need to try the second one that was made from just the regular old milk. So here is the second one made from the regular milk, and I infused the 2016 powdered pane into that, so hopefully this will be pretty good. Mm-hmm. It is. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm. Got a good kick. Yeah, the lemon lime and the uh, the powdered pain that needs cilantro. That's what that cheese needs. Oh, that's good. These both worked out really, really well. I'm very impressed. And on that note, everybody, I'm going to wrap up this particular video, just like I need to go wrap up those couple of cheeses. But yeah, I am really enjoying this... Uh, adventure in cheese making, and I imagine it's definitely going to continue. I like a lot of interesting cheeses, so... Who knows, maybe even one day I'll get brave enough to try blue or something, or we might even get goats. I could try making goat's milk cheese. Ooh. Anyway, I have a few different ideas for how I could uh, continue to improve this basic farmer's cheese that I'm playing with. I may or may not pop up future videos on that. Let me know in the comments below if you'd be interested to see how I continue to uh, try and tweak the cheese. All right, everybody, on that totally cheesy comment, I am going to let you go. Have yourselves an absolutely fantastic day.